Stop going out on dates. Stop dating. Let the whole concept of dating get out of your head. In this video, I'm going to explain to you what I mean by dating going out on dates, why it's only harmful to you in many different ways, physically, emotionally, financially, and what to do instead. Yes, because of course we all, or most of us, especially when you're watching this video, would love to have this nice person with us in our lives. I do, and I managed to have that but without dating. And I have been on many, many, many dates. I had a period where it was dating twice a day during the summer. And it didn't result in something successful. So, Without further ado, buckle up, take a piece of paper maybe, and a pen, or open your notepad, so you can make some notes. And watch till the end, because till the end I'll be sharing with you valuable information, ways to get what you really want. Not what you think that you want, but what you really want, what you need, what will make you really happy. Like, subscribe, and share. Hi, my name is Lotfi Mrat. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you why you should stop going out on dates. You should quit the whole dating thing. Well, the title may have triggered you, but it's not what you may think, at least not exactly. So, the main reason or reasons I'm saying this are the following. One, high expectations leading to disappointment. Need for validation leading to insecurity. A waste of money, waste of time, waste of energy, and generally no real future, no long-term future. So let's dive into this a little bit deeper. Well, first of all, if you do not know who you are, really, really are, on the inside, not your job title or your bank account or the house that you own or whatever, but you on the inside, then you do not know what you need or what you truly desire in your life. And when I say need, it's not like, oh, I like am lacking this, so I need somebody who brings this to the table. No. That's where I'm telling you, go work on yourself. Do some real personal development. You can do some real personal development, for example, working with me to discover who you truly are. Discover what your passions are. What makes you really go for it. What you really do not want in your life and why. To resolve your triggers by healing your wounds who result in the triggers. Meaning you will become more relaxed, more laid back. Doesn't mean you will be lazy or something. No, you may be super productive, even more productive if you actually know what really drives you and what you came here to do in this lifetime. This will automatically result in you attracting different kind of people. And remember the word attracting. We'll come back to that a little bit later. So by working on yourself, you will know what kind of a person 
you would like to have in your life, or at least which kinds, there are many, you would not like to have in your life. Now we'll stop here for this for the, for this bullet point, and we'll move on, and we'll come back, and you will see how it all makes sense. Generally, when you go on dates, it's because you saw an app, you saw a face, or you saw a torso, or other kind of torso. Yes, it's called the torso. So, torso is not just the muscles of a man. A woman also has a torso, but then she has different shapes there. Uh, yes, I'm trying to make this a not X-rated video. You may have fallen for the smile of the person, which already is a little bit better than what most people are looking for when they're swiping on apps or scrolling on a screen. Or when somebody says, Oh, I have this very nice friend of mine who has been single for a while. Yeah, that's generally a red flag. Most of the time, not always, but just 99.9999% of the time. And so when you go on a date based on a few questions you've answered, or maybe even a matching from a very sophisticated software, maybe driven by IE, yeah, in 2024, everything is driven by IE, then, yeah, you may still end up with superficial talks. And generally, that's what's, what's happening on dates. People have superficial talks trying to show themselves the best possible angle. So they put up makeup, their best clothes, they try to behave very nicely, try not to sneeze or cough, and go to a very nice restaurant, the, the nicest they can afford, and all these kind of things, which is all superficial, which is all not you. So even if you would continue dating and in the end you start a relationship, it would be based on superficialities. Going on dates regularly because you really want to find this partner because, oh, I have this biological clock that is ticking. Actually, it's not ticking anymore. It's like an alarm going off in my belly. I need seeds because I need to have a baby. Otherwise, I will not be an accomplished woman. What kind of a woman would I be if I would not have produced a baby? Or two? Or three? Yeah, and some men have the same. I need to demonstrate my manhood by fertilizing a woman. Okay, that out of the way. Going regularly on dates will exhaust you because of the disappointment or because of all the thinking like, yeah, but this and then this and then that person and then that person and then comparing them and <sighs> that has nothing to do with this, what's in here. <sighs> well, if you have been already doing this, going on dates, then take a piece of paper and make a list of what you've learned about yourself and about what you definitely don't want in your life. Use that experience in your best interest. Even if they're all horrible dates, just write down what does not work for you. So at least it will not be a total waste of time and energy. you have done the, for, uh, the past things that we already named, especially the working on yourself, you will gain self-confidence. So you do not need validation from that person or validation in general because you have that person next to you. So let this go. Focus on who you are. When you know yourself, you do not need this or that. 
And I'm talking from personal experience here on all the bullet points. When I was searching, I would not find. When I would stop the search, I would find. You may say, this is grammatically incorrect. How can you find if you stop searching? Well, when your focus goes away from I want to find this or that, things just appear in your path. Things that are right for you, right for you in that moment. So the last point I want to tackle is expectations. When people go on dates, they have expectations. And the expectations say, it can be, I want to get laid. I want to find the perfect partner. I want to find the father of my future child. I want to find the mother of my future child. I want to find that partner so I will not be the single person again at the next wedding or at the next Christmas dinner. I want to find a person so that I will not be lonely, feeling lonely anymore. I want to spend Christmas home alone, on New Year's Eve alone, things like that. Well, I believe I recorded a video on feeling lonely or on loneliness in general. If I can find it, I will link it up here. And you will find in the, in the description the link as well. So, what do I recommend to do instead of going out on these dates? And by the way, aside from dating sites, there are also these organizations like Internations, for example, which has, on one hand, a lot of social events, mainly including getting drunk, um, dinners, but often with a lot of alcohol as well, and some very niche events like a meditation, a this or that, that, and business events. Internations, the social events are often like dating events. I literally was in a very nice conversation with a woman, this was years ago, <coughs> I was in a relationship, and a certain moment in the talk, I mentioned, yeah, my girlfriend, this and that. Within two to three minutes, the woman was gone. It was only later that I realized how the dynamics were when I saw how people were interacting. And for example, a guy that I knew was not interested to talk to me that evening there. I was like, strange. And I saw him looking at women and then I realized, I connected the dots. I was like, oh, wait, I'm here at a dating event. Yeah. Now I only attend, attend the business event. There's still some kind of dating going on, people trying, but it's different. People more connecting and socializing and talking and then talking business as well. So that's different. But instead of wasting energy on trying to find a person, Start by finding yourself, knowing who you truly are, what's really important for you in your life. Then start living that life by acting, by working on yourself, by integrating what you're learning. At that moment, you will start to meet a different kind of people, people who match you better in general. Whether it is a new job, new colleagues, new clients, new business partners, new people on the street or people in your building that you start to interact with that you may not even have known lived there or you only saw them passing by but you never connected with them because they were not going to connect with a fake person. They start connecting with you because you're more authentic, you're more you, the real you. And that's something they have and so they're on that frequency and you match so suddenly you have new kinds of friends you will see certain kinds of friends going away at the same time 
this nice partner will show up spontaneously without doing an effort. You will easily connect and before you know it, you're having beautiful experiences. You will not be spending time on expensive dinner dates, on making yourself look amazing or whatever. No, because you will be radiating your true energy, which is amazing. You can go out without makeup and you will still be radiant. And that person who is on your frequency will connect with you. Will connect with you and like you for who you are. Not for the thick layer of plaster you put on your face. Like a clown does. Those traditional clowns from the circus, you would not recognize them in real life. Because you only know them with all the plaster on their faces. And that's the case for many women and some men as well. That's why often in the morning after one of those fake dates, the man is horrified when he sees the woman for who she truly is, who's most likely also feeling uncomfortable that her makeup is half gone or completely gone. When it's half gone, it's even worse because then you have like half plaster and half not and she's insecure about the part that's not plastered and then her energy is going really down that's when you start to look ugly i used to look ugly back in my teens when i was feeling really shitty i didn't f feel that i fit in so i had this ugly energy because i was feeling ugly on the inside this is why i look much younger now then when I was in my 30s because I had a period of burnouts and being insecure and trying to prove myself and not accepting myself and therefore not being accepted by the people around me because they were fake people. But that all changed once I started to work on myself, when I started to be more balanced. Then I started to have better colleagues, better bosses, uh, very little problems at work or none, rarely a fight since I started working on myself. And so, yes, I was on, 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 on a dating site back, back in the days. And then when I was not paying attention, when I had had, I don't know how many dates I had in one month. It was, it was crazy. It was summer and it was almost every day. I had a date, sometimes I had two dates on one day. And I had this one date that went strangely and it's funny because we spent the night together and I was like mm. no this this doesn't go right but actually I want to see the person again because something in me was telling me actually this this person could be okay but we were both so much in our minds with the whole dating thing that didn't work so, as we both had this feeling like, yeah, this, this was strange, but there, there's something deeper. We agreed to meet again. And then when we met, there was no dating bullshit. We just met and talked. And that's when we came closer. And then we spent the night again. It was amazing. Because we connected. Because we let go of the whole dating thing, like we need to make a good impression. Because on the second date, we were curious about actually getting to know the person. And that's when the whole dating shit stopped. And yes, I had had periods in my life where I felt lonely. Even a few years ago. During the whole lockdown crap. Also because my closest friends had left town and some even left the country. So it was difficult. But 
when I started working again on myself, specifically on that subject. Somebody showed up. Spontaneously, I met someone. I actually started meeting people in general. And it's every time that I worked on myself to resolve a blockage that would come to surface, because we have plenty of them, but they're not always at the forefront at the same time. Then, once I work on it, it dissolves, things start to happen. New people come into my life. People who resonate with the higher frequency that I reached by lifting the blockage. So now I hope that you understand why I recommend you to stop going on dates and start by focusing on yourself. And if you're saying that, yeah, but I do not have time to meet or in my work I never meet someone, well, maybe you need to change something about your life first. Because if your life doesn't allow you to meet people naturally, how are you going to be in a relationship? Uh, you see? doesn't make any sense. So first of all, start freeing time. Get a hobby. And by a hobby, I mean start doing something you really love to do, where your passion is. And then before you know it, you meet someone. You can meet some, someone anywhere. At an airport, waiting for a delayed airplane. And then you have eye contact, or maybe you have a talk. And then... Once you take your seat in the airplane, you realize we're sitting next to each other. Happened to me in a train. Twice I met somebody in the train that I met again with afterwards because we connected spontaneously. You can meet people anywhere. Just stop being focused on it. Let go. I was working in a company where I really believed that all my most of my colleagues were really stupid and dumb, at least from my department. But then, when I was just relaxed, I saw a colleague that I hadn't seen before and we looked each other in the eyes and we were like, hey. Yep. Connection. You don't know where people show up. And I still have friends 20 plus years later. From moments where I was not focused on finding anyone, but I just we crossed paths and we connected. I hope this benefits you. And as I said at the beginning, you most probably need working on yourself. If you click this video, it means it's in your mind, like I need to date, I want to date because I want to meet people, or you have been dating for a while and it's not being successful. Well, let me help you. Let me help you on this path because I know what you're going through. Most probably I went through the same. And of course we do things slightly differently. But I'll share with you things, I'll ask you questions, I'll help you find your best way of raising your frequency, raising your vibration, and from there starting to attract different kind of people in your life and also different situations in your life. Link in the description, how to contact me. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Have a wonderful day. Like, subscribe and share.